hello there. My name is Peasel Ward. I am a writer, a musician, and an artist. When I was 14, I won the National Young Writers' Contest for outstanding storytelling in a science fiction novella. My piece was Escape from Satan's Arse. In it, two men are trapped in a haunted space station. It is later revealed that they flew up the devil's arsehole. The critics hailed it as Event Horizon, only in Satan's arse. Regardless, one of them was fired. I haven't won any awards since then, but I have continued to write over 1,000 stories. Some are 900 pages long, some only four. And most are two pages long. Geocities.com slash Moon Patrol 99870 calls me the most prolific artist since Leonardo da Vinci, an honour I don't take lightly. Tonight we will look at the unfinished movie adaptation of Escape from Satan's Arse. Perhaps someday we will find an arse large enough to accommodate my vision, but I don't think computer technology will catch up to my imagination for a long time. Maybe in 2001, but not now. So sit back, enjoy, and try not to have any nightmares, because it's pretty scary. Frank, I think our ship might be haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts, eh? Damn it, man. Haven't you ever gone to Sunday school? Souls that exit the human body float up towards space on their way to heaven. We're on a crash course towards the netherworld. Sorry, Ace, but I'm an atheist. Mankind wasn't meant to mess around with this kind of power. For God's sake, Frank, our spaceship's engine is powered by crushing newborn babies. Doesn't that concern you in the slightest? Oh God, something has my suit. It's invisible. I can't see it. It's making... Me. Don't do it! Resist! Bleeding piss! My dick just went up my ass. I'm fucking myself, Ace! I'm fucking myself! <clears throat> I know rape is a very sensitive subject, but I believe I handled it very tastefully. It changes Frank forever. In the end, he believes in God. That's called character development. The self-rape was an analogy for time travel. I call it quantum rape. Ace, I think I've figured out where we are, but you'll think I've gone quite mad. Just spill it, would you? We've... Just flown up the arse of Satan. Satan's arse? You heard me. Satan's arse. So that wasn't an ordinary black hole. After this, there was going to be this massive pullback, and we would actually show the arse of Satan. But alas, all we have is this standing image for now. I spent many sleepless nights tossing and turning, thinking about Satan's arse. What must it look like? How big is it? The biggest problem, so to speak, with creating Satan's arse, is the sense of perspective. How does one accurately convey the foreboding sense of insignificance, mankind's minuscule size, when inside Satan's arse? This is sadly all I have to show you. The rest of the unfinished movie is missing. We're pretty sure the actor who played Frank stole it. He wasn't fond of that rape scene. In fact, he swore revenge. But I just let everyone in the world see this scene. So guess who won? Me. I win, Frank. When I get my contract with Hollywood to finish this movie, I'll have you digitally put back in it. Didn't even like your acting. I'll just be doing it out of spite, you prick. Fuck you.